Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you what I'm packing for my upcoming European vacation. I am traveling with my sisters for 10 days to England, Scotland, and Wales. And we are gonna be on a road trip driving from London up to Edinburgh for a couple of nights, then up to Iverness for a couple of nights, and then from Iverness down back to Wales, and then to London for the tail end of our trip. So we are gonna be driving quite a bit of ways and in the car for a lot of the trip. So I do wanna pack things that are comfortable, but I also wanna bring things that I will definitely need because we may not be around stores or anywhere where we can actually easily purchase something um, for quite a bit of the trip. So I'm gonna show you what I'm packing and fingers crossed I'll have everything I need. off I'm gonna show you first off what kind of luggage I'm gonna be using we are only doing carry-ons so it's gonna be challenging because I'm not one to typically pack in a carry-on bag those of you that know me I always always check a bag regardless if it's a vacation that's only a couple of days versus like two weeks I always check at least one big bag and always bring a carry-on and then a personal item I am always a what-if type of packer and I want to be prepared for like any situation so this trip has been a challenge for me but we cannot risk checking a bag and then heaven forbid it getting lost because we are only in London for about two days after landing and then quickly driving up to Scotland so I don't want to risk not having my bag for the entire vacation so therefore I am trying to plan a capsule wardrobe so that I have everything I need but not looking like I'm wearing the same outfit in every picture because um, that personally drives me crazy. <laughs> So I'm doing my best to plan a capsule wardrobe so that I have different looks for every day, but yet only bringing a limited number of items. So I found this carry-on bag actually at TJ Maxx, which was pretty reasonably priced. It's actually called a Lucas carry-on. And this is what it looks like. It has really durable wheels, which are nice, that are easily pivoting. It has plenty of room. I also like a hard shell suitcase because I just feel like you're able to shove more stuff in there. It's less likely to, to break. It has better wear and tear. I also like that it has like an expandable zipper. So when I purchase things on my trip, I can shove it in there as best as I can and have extra room if I need it. I'm also bringing a collapsible duffel bag, which I highly recommend. I bought one on Amazon and I love it. I've brought it on multiple vacations so far and what I like about it is that it compacts really, really small and it opens up to like a pretty good duffel bag and that way if I purchase any items while I'm away or you know see things along the way I can easily stuff like all my clothes in that duffel and then check that bag and then all of my items that are more breakable that I may have purchased along my trip I can put in my hard shell suitcase and check that as well if I need to or carry it on the plane as long as it's not anything that's like liquid or anything like that like a nice bottle of wine or you know champagne that you might have bought to commemorate where you were traveling I've done that before and you can't necessarily carry that on the plane so those items you definitely would have to check but sometimes I will check my hard shell and carry the duffel but it's nice to have that as an option and you're not necessarily carrying an extra bag with you on the plane because it compacts really small and you can have it in your carry-on. I also bought these really cute luggage tags because of course we're going to London and we're going to see a lot of the Harry Potter film locations so I got these. I thought they were super cute and it'll help me notice my bag really easily. So those were purchased at TJ Maxx and they were $7.99 so that was a reasonable price. I also bought this really cute hard shell um, but it's also soft on one side um, bag for my drone because I am bringing a drone with me um, Not so much for when I'm in London, but when I'm in Scotland I want to be able to get some nice aerial shots for you guys 
So I'm going to do my best to travel with my drone, which I've never done before, but I am going to give it a try. And I thought this was a nice small bag that I could easily tuck into my backpack or even put into my suitcase and put clothes like in it. And that way it's not taking up wasted space. But I liked this backpack because it only has one strap so you can easily bring it like over your shoulder. It has like a nice little loop that you can grab it like quick on the go. And I like that you can also make it like a crossbody if you wanted. So I definitely liked this. And inside there's a couple of dividers so you can like customize the way you want to store your stuff in here. And that way there's plenty of room for everything. There's also a slot if you brought an iPad with you or you know, little extras that you want to carry for your drone, like, you know, extra blades or your batteries, whatever you want. And it keeps it nice and protected And the hard shell just keeps it from, you know, whipping it around, banging it on stuff. It protects the drone from getting damaged. So that's good. And for those of you wondering, um, I'm not going to get into it too much in this video, but I did have to get my drone license for while I'm in Scotland because um, anything over 249 uh, grams in weight, you do need a drone license to fly in um, foreign countries. And so I did get a drone license, but my drone is below the 249, so I should be okay. But just to be on the safe side, I got it anyways, because I'm not trying to have any issues while I'm gone as far as um, flying my drone. Um, I also purchased these nice compact um, compression cubes. I do love packing in compression cubes um, because it does help you to organize everything better in your suitcase. When they are full they can be very dense so I'm not sure how many I plan on using once I pack everything behind me like in these cubes but at least I have the option to stuff things down a little bit tighter and that way I can pack a little extra um, but what I liked about these is it comes with like multiple sizes and I believe it was $39.99 on Amazon. I'll try to link everything down below that I purchased. Um, but I also like this little case that they all come in because you can use this for like any tech items that you might be bringing, any cords, your adapters, anything like that you can use this extra bag for or even just like socks, underwear and this stuff. This bag will, you know, all of them open up pretty good and this one included. Um, so you can fit like quite a bit of items, like see how deep that gets? And then when you compact it down, it gets really thin. So I think these are a really great purchase and I do plan on using a couple of them. Probably not this big guy because I'm only bringing a carry-on. <laughs> And I'm already freaking out about what I'm gonna be able to fit in there, but it's okay because I can always buy things once I'm there if I don't find I have enough outfits. So I keep telling myself that. Um, I'm also bringing this nice neck pillow. This is a nice microfiber. I believe I bought this one at the airport and spent a fortune. Do not do that um, because I accidentally left mine at home on one of our vacations that we were on and I was desperate and went to the gift shop at the airport and purchased this guy. But I've seen one just like it at TJ Maxx like probably a million times and they're so much more affordable so definitely plan ahead. Don't do what I did and forget it. What I like about this one though is it has like a little clip so you can clip it easily like around the loop at the top of your backpack so that you don't forget it which I plan on doing this time because I hope I don't need to buy another one. Um, definitely have a few of those <laughs> lying around. Um, speaking of backpacks, this is the backpack that I plan on bringing. I bought this also on Amazon. What I like is that it has these nice like comfy straps and it also has these nice pads like on the back of the bag so that it's not like hurting your back carrying this thing around because I do plan on emptying it out once we get to our destination and you know cleaning it out and only packing the items that I need for the day and easily bringing this around to like all the tours that we plan on doing and that way I have all those essential items that I need like my drone um, you know some money whatever else I want to carry snacks while we're out driving like you know my water bottle all those essential things, my camera, whatever else I want to bring with me 
while we're in the car. At least I have it all and it also is perfect for the flight. There's plenty of zippers um, to store stuff, which I also have my luggage um, weight, which I really like. Um, this is the little scale. And what I like about it is that it has that hook so that if I do decide to check my hard shell carry-on and I've stuffed it to the brim and I want to make sure that it's, you know, doesn't weigh too much to be able to check it, at least I have this guy with me in my backpack to be able to check. So that for me is an essential item. I also have a pair of sunglasses down here, which I do have at the case for. I don't know why they're not in the case, but that is also a must. Um, my iPad, you know, my headphones, like all those things that I need to carry with me on the flight, I'll have in here. Um, so if anyone's interested in this backpack, I will um, try to link it down below. There's also a nice laptop sleeve um, in this backpack for carrying on the plane. And what I also really like is that it has this um, waterproof section in the very front. So if you're going to the beach or say, you know, you're going to a spa and you might have like a wet bathing suit, you can stuff it in there and it's not going to ruin or wet anything. Um, I tend to bring um, like disposable wipes like these that I'm planning on bringing, Clorox wipes. And this package like never reseals when you open it. So that will be going in that waterproof pouch because if this opens up, I'm not going to be worried about it ruining like my iPad or any tech items that I might have with me. I'm also bringing these sani cloths these are the same brand that like most hospitals use and what i love about these is they're individually packaged so i'm planning on having these in my backpack for like everywhere we go and if i feel i need to wipe anything down like the plane seat the buckle the little tray table in front of me um you know if we're on you know the train or whatever public transportation I want to wipe something down I have these readily available so I plan on carrying these in my purse in my backpack anywhere we go that I might need this I'm having these with me and they're awesome because they're bleach free so I'm not necessarily worried about you know ruining my clothes or whatever like after wiping things down like I could easily sit on it even if it's still a little bit damp I mean it's not ideal but it's not gonna ruin anything and within two minutes this will kill the COVID virus it's a no-brainer so I'm definitely bringing some of those. I'm also bringing a little first aid kit, which I got this at the Dollar Tree. And for a dollar, you have all these bandages in here. And look how thin it is. So how much room is this really gonna take up in my backpack? We could be out and about on a hiking trail. One of us could fall, skid our knee, whatever. I could get a blister from my hiking boots and need a Band-Aid. This will definitely come in handy. I highly recommend anyone bring a little first aid kit on any vacation. I'm also bringing these awesome little cord, I don't even know what they're called, like little doohickeys. I love them because they look like a hair elastic, but they have these like little magnetic um, little clips that you easily wrap around any of your cords and it keeps them organized from like floating around or getting tangled in anything when you keep them in your bag. So I am bringing those and I'm literally using them on everything, like my headphones for instance. I'm also using that on a long cord because anyone that travels out of the country knows that wherever you're staying may not have outlets like within reach <laughs> everywhere. So it does come in handy to have a long cord in case you need it. Like if you're in bed and want to be on your phone, but you need to charge it, this long cord is essential. So I'm bringing that. And I also bought this awesome charger, which is great because it will wirelessly charge my phone and my AirPods, which I love. And this, the guy comes up in the center, which will charge your um, Apple Watch. So that's great. And what I like is that it's so compact and it magnets to itself and it's really thin and it's easy to put in your backpack and it's just, you have it. So this has been a game changer for all my trips. I keep this in my suitcase or in my backpack at all times. And that way, wherever I go, I have a charger for all my devices all in one. So I highly recommend this. 
This was also purchased on Amazon. I'm also bringing, which is a must, um, adapters. So this adapter, well both my adapters, are universal for basically anywhere in Europe. Which I, what I like about it is it has like the face that will literally take almost any port um, to charge in the front. And then the back, depending on where you're traveling, like for me, the UK, so this is the adapter for the UK. So you just literally slide out these little piece, this, you know, these little doohickeys here on the side. And depending on where you're going, they, um, they'll change like the port. So I bought this because I don't plan on, you know, only going to ever, you know, these destinations I'm traveling for this trip. I plan on using this guy for a lot of vacations. So I highly recommend buying this instead of just the adapter for wherever you're going because then you can pay a little extra money but then you have this for like wherever else you may need it so this is definitely worth it and i also bought a little travel case that holds this on amazon but it hasn't come in yet so i will also link that with this because this one didn't come with it some of them do like this one this one is a power converter which you definitely need if you're um, using your straightener, your curling iron, your blow dryer, if you wanna charge your laptop or your drone, anything that may need a power converter, you can't use this guy for. This one you can use your phone and little things, but anything that takes a lot of power, you need to use a power converter. Hey guys, so I'm not really sure where I left off because my battery died, so I had to restart this video <laughs> halfway through. Um, but I'm just going to show you some stuff that I just got in the mail that I'm also bringing on this trip. So I just ordered these Dolce Vita sneakers. Aren't they adorable? I love the little silver accent on the side and I love that they're all leather and that they have, um, like slip on so you don't have to tie. They're super comfortable and look at this insole that they come with. It has like a natural like heel riser and it is so cushy comfortable. So this is what's actually inside the shoe and they are so soft <laughs> and squishy. So I'm so excited. I was a little bit nervous at first because when I first put them on, they felt a little bit tight because I was reading reviews on Amazon and everybody said to like size down like a half a size because they are real leather and leather does stretch out with wear so normally i'm a nine and a half and so i ended up getting a size nine in these and they do fit a little snug but i've been wearing them around the house while my battery's been charging and i'm already super obsessed and know i'm gonna get so much wear out of these so i am gonna bring them because i think they would look super cute with a blazer um like just to kind of elevate the look or even with just plain jeans like so you can either dress them up or dress them down and they would look super cute no matter what you're doing obviously i won't be using these to go like hiking or anything but if we're doing any walking just like around town i could easily wear these out to dinner whatever but that's what i'm bringing i'm also bringing a pair of boots because we're going to london and scotland so there's gonna be lots of rain, I'm sure. So these are waterproof and they're also cute. They're called um, Blundstones and I've never owned a pair of these, but I've seen them around a lot. So I like that they have like a good sole on them. So I can wear them like hiking on the trail, but I can also wear them around town with like a dress and you know, it still look cute and comfortable. So they're very versatile. So I'm bringing these with me and I also just bought a pair of sneakers which I'm not sure I'm going to bring or not but I did buy them for the trip. Um, they're a pair of Reeboks and they're just like typical athletic sneakers but I liked how the sole looked a little more elevated like different. So I thought these would be super comfortable and this is the sole that the shoe has like this nice cushy um, they call it a ortholite comfort footbed and I like that the tongue like well not the tongue but the back of the heel has this extra like little pillow so 
they should be like super comfortable like to walk around in and I did wear them around the house. I'm still not sure I love them, but only because of the white. They are super comfortable and I think they would be great, but I am just nervous like bringing two pair of white sneakers when we're going to be outside a lot and doing a lot of hiking around. So I'm sure these will get completely filthy and be like black by the time I get home. So I might just bring a black pair of sneakers and then those white Dolce Vitas and then I'll have my black boots. So I'm on the fence about these, but they are super cute. Um, what else in my brain? Oh, I also bought, which you guys are going to laugh, <laughs> but my sister found these on Amazon and we thought they would be like awesome to have like in our backpack. They are called rain shoe covers and they come in this like plastic package and you order them based off of what size shoe you would wear normally and they have like this rubber sole on the bottom of them and you literally slip this over your shoe and then you cinch around like you do the zipper across the top and then you cinch this like around your ankle so that if you're out and about <laughs> Say we're at the Airbnb or whatever and we're decided we're going to go on a hike and we're wearing just regular sneakers and all of a sudden it just like unexpectedly starts downpouring and we're like out and don't have rain shoes with us or like aren't wearing our boots. Like we can keep these in our backpack because they're like super lightweight and we can just throw these on in a pinch and we're like perfectly waterproof and like prepared for any situation. So I thought these were worth it. They were like... I think they were like seven dollars on amazon so we each got a pair to bring with us on the trip just to like have for any unexpected weather speaking of which i also bought this raincoat which is awesome because it comes with this like carrying case and i can easily stuff it in my backpack with my umbrella those waterproof boot co covers and I'm ready to go and like prepare for any situation. So what I loved about this raincoat is it had really good reviews. It's lightweight. It doesn't feel like sticky. Like you know how some raincoats like the interior of them like make you sweat and you can like feel it sticking to you. I didn't want that. Um, and this one has like a cinched waist, which I liked. And it has a hood with an adjustable drawstring and it has a zipper and it has like two pockets in the front and it's super thin because it's not going to be like really cold weather while we're there so if I wanted to I could like bulk up underneath if it is chillier and then wear this over it so at least what I'm wearing is water resistant and it is a, um, like a classier looking jacket so like even if we are like just going to dinner, I can throw this on and I don't feel like I'm wearing like an athletic like um, raincoat. And what I liked about this one as well, like I'll stand up, you're not going to be able to see my whole body, but I like how it's longer. So it covers my bum because nothing's worse than wearing a raincoat and the, your whole upper body is like dry, but then as the water's dripping off the back of the coat, it's getting your whole pants and your butt like soaking wet. So at least this one, like the water will just like beat off and like onto the ground and like hopefully keep your legs dry, especially if you're in a downpour. So I liked this option and like, look how quick this is to pack up. Simple as that. And then you put it right back in this pouch that it came in. And then just cinch the drawstring and it's all set. Just throw it right back in your backpack. So this was a definitely a good buy. I hope to get some good use out of it and I'll let you know how weather resistant it is. So um, I'm also bringing a hat. Like I'm gonna bring a baseball cap and probably two beanies just in case because I hear like England has been in the high 70s but then in Scotland it can get pretty cold like especially at night like it can drop into like the 40s 50s so that can be a little bit chillier so I'm gonna bring my hat this is compliments of Wicked Woods um, crafts my sister's business so 
this has the Deathly Hollow symbol on it, which I love. So I'm gonna bring that. So when we're out doing Harry Potter-esque things, I'm all prepared. So I will have that. And I'm also bringing, this is separate um, back to like bags. This is like my little gadget pouch. So this opens up and there's two separate compartments that have like plenty of room to like store things. Like I can put cords in here. Um, this also has my portable charger, which is really cool. This charges up to 10 times, which is really awesome. And I like that it has like the LED screen, so it lets you know how many charges you have left. And I like that it also has this like adapter so you can like plug in to charge. So you don't need like a separate cord to plug it in. And then it has the cords you need already. Like this one's for an iPhone, which is awesome. And then this one has USB-C and also an Android charger, which some of my products um, that I bring with me on traveling sometimes, like my portable speaker like needs a little Android charging cord. So it's all on here, which is great. And on this side, like I'm gonna fill this with like my AirPods, um, my charging cords, like anything that I'm bringing, like all my electronic cords I'm bringing, um, I'm gonna keep in this case. And then this guy, has um the adapter already like built into it so this is perfect for my iphone and this will give me one charge and what i like about this is it's perfect that'll fit like in my purse or my um, fanny pack and i have it for wherever i'm going if i don't want to carry that big one with me everywhere and it's super lightweight and it has the usb um well usb c like little charger port so I can actually use that other charger because it has that USB-C um, cord little attachment so I can actually use that to charge this if I needed to in a pinch especially if I keep this bigger one like in the car and then while we're out and about doing things if I need it I can charge my phone with this and then when we get back in the car I can charge this so it's kind of perfect um, so that's why I ended up getting those but yeah, I thought this bag was perfect because see these all these little attachments so I can like put my extra um, like SIM cards for my camera, like whatever I want in this thing. So I thought that was perfect. And then it keeps everything nice and organized and it's pretty slim. I'm also bringing this makeup case, which I also found on Amazon. It holds quite a bit of stuff in here. What I like is that it's clear so you can like see everything that you have and it folds open and it has this gold hook which is nice because you can just clip it somewhere and hang it in your bathroom and that way you can visibly see like everything you have. So I'm planning on putting, I already put some stuff in here preparing. Um, so I have like my hair things in here. This is going to be like makeup and then I have all my toiletries here on the bottom like everything's three ounces or less because I'm bringing only carry on so I am not checking a bag so I have to make sure all my liquids are no more than three ounces. I'm also bringing this cute little Be Well pill case which I think I found at TJ Maxx. If anyone knows me knows that I am obsessed with these things. I had a really, really nice one that had a rose gold case over it and I can't find where it went. So I'm pretty heartbroken because that one's like a little bigger than this one and I could hold quite a bit in there. So I will find it eventually, I know I will, but I needed a spare. So I got this pill case and what I filled it with is just some basic essentials, um, Tylenol, ibuprofen, um, I put Benadryl, because you just never know, um, some Tesla on pearls in case we end up with a cough. Also um, Zyrtec, Claritin, and I also put some NyQuil and DayQuil um, tablets in here. And I'm also going to get some Tums just to have. And then this folds up really nice and compact and I can keep this in my fanny pack or in my backpack or wherever. Um, in my nighttime evening purse or wherever I'm going, I will have this on me in case I need some quick medication. Um, I'm also bringing this cute little eye mask. It clips onto your bag, um, super lightweight, squishy, 
and it's so comfortable and it's complete blackout. Um, I like that it has this like little tab for your nose in the center so that no light can creep in at all. And it's just like an elastic in the back so it's super soft, comfortable, and that way I can like wear it on the plane, wear it in the, you know, at the hotel or Airbnb, and that way if I find that there's not enough darkness in the room or with the time difference, if the light starts coming in before I'm ready for it, I can throw this on and I'm ready for a nap. So I'm bringing that. I'm also bringing what else? my drone, which we talked about earlier. So I have um, the DJI um, Mini. Um, not the Pro, but the Mini 3. And I'm not going to go through that whole thing, but this is my drone. It's like super lightweight. And it's like the size of my hand, like it's really small. So it's like perfect for traveling, like compact. And like I said before, it's the, um, has the 249 grams. So it's easy to travel with. I have a strap over it so that the wings like stay in place. And then this is the controller. The controller is also a little bit bigger, but um, it's nice because it has like the attachment for your phone. But these are the cases that I bought for them. So they have like microfiber inside, super soft, and they protect it. And then I also bought this um, case for the batteries so that they stay protected for travel and they just easily will go in here and then i'm gonna like cinch them up and keep them in my backpack so when i go through tsa i can just pull them out and put them on the conveyor belt um pretty quick so and that way everything stays protected and is in my backpack and easily accessible um what else i'm also bringing some tide to go like this is the one serving for laundry because where we're staying we're gonna have laundry and I'm super sensitive as to what detergent we use so I'm bringing these little travel packs that way if I need to wash a load because I'm only bringing a carry-on so I'm probably gonna need to do a load of laundry or two while I'm out and um, that way I have fresh clothes throughout the vacation but I did buy about six of these but I don't think I'll need all of them but I thought they were good to have on hand in case for other trips or whatever. I also bought a pack of just like plain Hanes ankle socks because you can never go wrong with those. And also boot cut socks because if I wear my boots out, I will need some of those. Otherwise I'll get blisters. I also bought a pack of these hefty <laughs> bags um, for travel where you do not need a vacuum to seal to get the air out which is nice you can like roll it out and um, so we'll see between these and the compression cubes that I got let's hope that this saves the day and that I'm able to bring everything you see here on this rack because if not I will cry <laughs> because I'm not one to pack a carry-on so this is gonna be my saving grace I hope um, so between the two of those, hopefully that'll help. And I also am bringing, which <laughs> um, Andy was like laughing at me because I bought these door safety alarms because, you know, we're girls traveling and, you know, being in a different country, I just wanted some extra safety. So... I bought these um, door alarms so that at night when we're sleeping, I can put these under the door at the front and I also have one if there's a back door or a separate entrance um, and they are super loud. I will demonstrate really quick. I put the battery in the wrong way so that they don't accidentally go off like while they're in the bag while I'm flying, but I will demonstrate how loud these are. <laughs> That's how loud it is. I was putting the battery in correctly and that's why it wasn't working. But yeah, so that's how loud it is. So hopefully we never hear that sound when these are set. But if we did, 
it would hopefully give us some time to get out of there and i also got this door safety lock so you prop this end or this end in the door jam in the lock and then you use this side to clip into here let me see like this and it will jam the door so that if they try to unlock it even if they had the key they couldn't physically open the door because this will be locking it so hey at least we have some safety measures with us so i thought those were great and um i'm also bringing these which i'm sure many of you women out there have seen i've had these for a long time but they're just like sticky pads that you can put like in your clothes um instead of wearing a bra and also pasties because you just don't know if you need them and as far as clothing i'm trying to um, pack like a travel capsule so as far as clothes I'm bringing a pair of leggings and I'm also going to be wearing a pair of leggings so these were nice I got these at TJ Maxx they're the easy ankle um, balance collection and they were $16.99 so that was a really good price um, I also got this three pack of bras by Renee Rothy which they're super comfortable because they have the no wire underneath. And so it made them like super plush to wear and they're very comfortable. Like you could sleep with these on and not be affected by it. They have like a nice, like soft, like almost microfibery material. So I got those in like neutral colors so I can wear them literally under anything. I got these plush, um, like pair of like athletic pants but they're for like sleep and they're from the george collection at walmart and they were i think they were around 10 bucks they were like super super cheap and they're really comfortable i also just got a plain pair of black pants these are from target they're the um universal thread like brand and they're the high rise skinnies. Nothing with rips because we, you know, as Americans like wear a lot of distressed like clothing, but in Europe they don't wear any rips in their pants. So me trying to blend in, like I didn't really want to get too much distressed stuff or anything that's like too graphic, like as far as t-shirts or anything like that. Cause I don't want to blend I want to blend in. I don't want to look necessarily like a tourist. Um, I also got these nice jeans, also Universal Thread from Target. They have like the unfinished edge at the bottom, which I thought was super cute. And I also like that they have the button like fly, which was nice. Um, and they have like a stretch to them, so they're like super comfortable. Um, so that way when we're out and about, I don't feel like restricted, like wearing this like stuffy pair of jeans. Like I want to be comfortable and still like look nice. So I thought I could like dress these up or wear them out, um, you know, day, day to night time. For something a little more dressy, I got this like two piece set. Um, and the brand is let's see saints and I thought it was super cute because it's like ribbed I don't know if you can tell in the camera but it's ribbed and it's like you know uh almost like a sports bra type top and then this is like a high-waisted skirt with a slit the slit is super cute so I thought that would look cute if we're like going out one night, doing like a fancier dinner, maybe like high tea. I could even pair it with my blazer. Like if it's something that's not so, you know, if it's a little more formal, I could put this over it, which will elevate the look. And this blazer is 
RC Wren, which is on Amazon, which is also super affordable. And I like that it has like the little slit in the back and it has some, you know, little details like on the cuffs, like there are some of the um, buttons, but it's more fitted. I'm also bringing a couple of cardigans. This one I got on consignment. It has like a higher collar, which I thought was nice, like kind of European. And it also looks super cute, like with the flannel shirt underneath, like with the collar. So I could mix and match, like if I wanted to wear the flannel shirt, you know, one day out at night. And then like a couple days later, I could wear this over the flannel shirt and it kind of changes the look and doesn't look like I'm wearing the same thing all the time. And I also like that for this, this is kind of like a cropped um, cashmere, like super soft, like stretchy sweater. And I like that it's v-neck so I can wear like my flannel under it, like I just said, or I could wear just a t-shirt under it, you know, like layering different things because it might be cold at night. I'm also bringing my Ravenclaw flannel shirt. I made this Green Valley Gifts. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'd appreciate it. But I'm bringing this for when we do the Harry Potter Universal tour. So I'm going to wear that. I also have my Ravenclaw crew neck sweatshirt, which is compliments of Wicked Woods Crafts. Um, so I'm going to be wearing this maybe on the plane because it's super cozy and then I'll have it for the trip as well. And then for Harry Potter type stuff, because we're doing a lot of Harry Potter tours this vacation. Um, it's my sister's 30th birthday and she's obsessed with Harry Potter. So this was kind of like her plan um, to go to Europe and do like the Harry Potter tours. So to, for that reason, I'm bringing a couple Harry Potter t-shirts. So I have like my Ravenclaw, plain black, and then my Herbology um, t-shirt, which I got at Walmart and it was like, super cheap I think it was like 10 bucks so that was a good deal and then I'm bringing a bunch of basic tees these are all from Target green t-shirt white t-shirt black t-shirt and then this is just like a striped t-shirt um, and then I have the only graphic tee that I'm bringing is just this cute like floral one from Target so I'm bringing that and then two long sleeves that I could dress up for nighttime or daytime if needed or layer them if, if I need. So just a plain black, which this is Banana Republic. And then this one's actually from Walmart. And I'm also bringing just two, like a dressier type long sleeve top. And then this like bodysuit that I could dress up or dress down, wear it with regular jeans or black jeans. It's like a bodysuit that has long sleeves. And then I'm bringing two bodysuits that are um, like tank top style that I could wear like with a blazer or wear like under a sweater. So like very versatile type stuff. And then just two plain tanks that I could wear with literally anything that I'm bringing. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you were able to pick up a few ideas on things that you might need for your next European vacation. And if there's anything that I missed or you think were essential for your trip, please comment down below and let me know because I'm gonna be traveling again. And I'd love to use some of the things that maybe you guys would recommend and if that might be helpful for someone else's trip. So comment down below. I'd love to see you guys' comments and things that you guys would recommend. And also if you could like and subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. And I will be posting lots of vlogs um, for this next vacation. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.